Hello, dear ones. Father Peter John coming to you from All Saints Orthodox Church in Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. Today we are talking about St. Yaakov Netzvetov of Alaska, also known as St. Jacob of Alaska. Uh, I did a film on his life about a year ago, and so I'm not going to go into great detail, but I want to set the table, give a context, and then I want to discuss one particular uh, uh, question or one, one particular uh, aspect of his life, and that is the power of encouragement. So let's get started. St. Yaakov Netzvetov was born in 1802 in Atka. Uh, he grew up with his family, decided he wanted to serve the church, went to seminary, married his wife Anna, uh, was ordained to the diaconate and then to the holy priesthood, and then assigned to the Atka church, Atka mission. He went to Atka. It was a very difficult assignment. There was no church building. He ended up uh, putting together a tent and then he would travel from place to place. It wasn't just like one local church. To say that you were the priest in Atka meant you had to serve multiple islands. And the priest generally went to the people instead of the people all coming to the priest. So anyway, he served um, faithfully there. The people loved him. They knew that, um, that he loved them. And after about seven years of serving Atka, tragedy struck Father Yako's life. His wife Anna tragically died. Uh, his house burned to the ground, and his father fell asleep in the Lord as well. All of this within about a year's time. It was a one, two, three punch that just, just took the wind out of uh, St. Yaakov's sails, as anyone can imagine it would. So he thought this maybe was a sign from God that he was to go do something else. He petitioned uh, Russia for, uh, to, to uh, leave this assignment in Atka and to go and to be a pre, uh, excuse me, to be a, a monk in Irkutsk. Uh, about a year later, he received a reply, and the reply was, you have the blessing to leave and become a monk as soon as your replacement priest arrives. However, a replacement never arrived. A number of years later, St. Innocent came and visited him. St. Innocent at this point was now Bishop of Alaska, and he invited St. Yaakov, he said, I want you to come with me on a little trip to Kamchatka. And so the two of them got on a, a boat. And uh, when they left Atka, Father Yaakov was discouraged, grief-stricken, um, in need of direction. When they arrived in Kamchatka, Father Yaakov was comforted. He was full of new courage, new life, new light, new zeal. Um, he knew he wasn't called to a, a monastery in Russia. He was called to the mission field of Alaska. He uh, spent the rest of his life, the next 20 years, as the head of the Yukon Delta mission. Um, I, I have been looking and have not found numbers on just how many people he baptized, but it's in the thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Um, his last missionary journey alone before he died at the age of 60, uh, he is known for having baptized 1,320 souls. That was just in one missionary journey. So the question then I come back to is, what is the power of encouragement? What is the potential? What is the value of an encouraging word? Well, we don't know exactly what St. Innocent said to St. Yaakov on that boat on that day on the way to Kamchatka. What we do know is that Saint Innocent cared and he went and he found this wounded priest, this wounded man, this wounded human being, this wounded child of God, this wounded sheep. He went to him and he invited him and then he encouraged him. And by the grace of the Holy Spirit, he comforted him and then he challenged him. And through this interaction, this time that Saint Innocent took with him, the words that he offered him and the love with which he embraced him, the whole future of the Yukon Delta in Alaska, of those tribes, of those people, their whole future was changed. A light was uh, shown upon all of these different tribes and villages there because St. Innocent was willing to encourage his son in the faith, St. Yaakov, and the fruit was wonderful and continues to be wonderful to this day. Glory to God for all things. May we have the strength and courage to encourage others. 
to follow the path that God has laid out before them. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be.